Um, okay. Um, all right, Mom, I'm going to show you. Um, I figured it would be the easiest thing to do is just to make a little video of um, this Kindle Fire and some of the features here so you know what the difference is. And, um, and the other. So first of all, I'm, going to give, I'm putting in this uh, little charger here, this little connector thing. And you can plug your, um, you know, either uh, you can plug your power cord right into there and then plug it in. And then this is your charger. So you can use that to plug into the wall. This is basically from an old cell phone we had, and we've got plenty of these laying around, so I'll just use that one. So um, the first thing here is this is a larger thing, obviously, and um, so this is a sort of a little magnetic catch here on the on the case. Now this case, I got one that has a a, a keyboard in it, and um, so I thought that would be easier when you're typing emails and stuff uh, to to use that. And I'll show you how that works in a minute here. But uh, so when the case is closed, just to let you know, there's a couple things. Well, let me let me back up again. The keyboard and the Kindle uh, are separate things. You know, they're from two different companies, and they both are battery operated, and they both are chargeable, and they both are chargeable with the same uh, cable. So uh, um, actually, two different cables, but they're the same type of cable. So you can they're interchangeable. So basically, to charge the um, the keyboard. You can kind of look here on the end. There is a place right here to, to plug it in and charge it up. Now, I don't know how long it will take to charge it, but um, but it just plugs right there into the end, and you can kind of see. You know, it's over here where it says where it says Belkin. Okay, and then on the Kindle itself, uh, that can charge in while it's in the case. You can plug it in the back here. Um, there's two plugs to plug something in and the, the power cord will only fit one of them. The other one's a little smaller and um, it is for like a HD TV output so you're not going to be using that probably but the other one will be the one for the power so you can plug that right into right into uh, that place right there. Okay so it's the one on the on the left as you're looking at the top and then again just plug that in. So you'll charge them up separately um, and you know they'll probably last several days uh, doing it like that. So Lori's taking a picture of me videoing, making this video. So anyway, um, so you open it up, and um, let's just focus on the Kindle right now. Then we'll talk about the keyboard in a, in a bit here. So you can first of all you can take this little magnetic lid, magnetic catch here, and flip it back, and do it like that. Now this case is um, you know kind of goes a lot of different ways. Uh, the keyboard actually is uh, is put on with Velcro, and uh, you can uh, just pull it right off like that. So let's just pretend we don't have the keyboard for the moment. We'll just set it up. So you can set okay, this smile thing. Smile for me, just one thing. Okay, smile. I'll take a picture. That one's mm -hmm. like good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. So um, you can set the you can set the thing up uh, different ways here, and you know whatever viewing angle you want to look at. And then also you can just do it like normal, like a book, and just hold it, hold it like that as well. Um, you can take that little catch and put it on the outside, and it'll kind of hold it together. So you can just do it like a book. Um, so anyway, it's it's kind of flexible in the way that it does it. And this is pretty much similar to the way my uh, iPad uh, case works as well. Um, so anyway, a lot of times you're going to want to probably look at it like this, especially if you're going to be using the keyboard. But let's just go ahead and turn it on now. One of the good things about this Kindle is um, on the end here you got the on off button as you you normally uh, would on the other one uh, but the good thing on this one is it also has um, it also has volume uh, buttons on here which we'll look at in a minute um, so you turn it on um, turn it on like this okay and then you've got the same old uh, carousel stuff that you had before uh, you just swipe through that to you know to look at it um, to go through I've got your uh, podcast uh, on here uh, and you just select those and, and watch them now there's a couple ways to do things just sort of overview over generically on the Kindle um, anytime you see the little home button over here on the right that that'll always get you back to the you know to the main place so you want to you know, be able to keep that in mind no matter what you're in uh, if you see the little house button, that'll take you back to the back to the beginning. I'll put Netflix on here. Um, it's hooked up to to our account, so you can 
you, know, you can watch stuff on there if you wanted to. And um, so just scroll through there. The other, pla the other place you can get to many things is just to pull down from the top. Um, and that gets you to all your settings. Um, you know, the, you can do, you can control the volume on this, but, but uh, see so here's the, the volume control, uh, like on the, the smaller Kindle, it's like this, but you can also use this button over here on the side. You can go up like that or down uh, like that to do, to do the volume control. Okay, and we'll hit the house button to go back. So that always takes you back to home if you hit that house button. Um, so I've got the, you know, the email things on there. Um, the uh, podcast. I added a new app um, called, uh, I think it's called uh, Pickfolio. And this is uh, linked up to um, your Picasso account, Dad, Dad's Picasso account. So when you go in here, you can just basically click on any of these albums and it'll show you all the pictures in the album. Then you can click on a picture and then just scroll through them. Um, and the, the, the screen just looks just fabulous. And you click on it one time, you can see a couple of menu options here. You can do a slideshow and just uh, kind of go through that. Here we go, slideshow. And it'll just move on through the pictures. So touch it to, to stop, um, stopping slideshow. And then again, to get you got to get back to the little house icon. You press on the right side, that little you see there was a little um, little marker on the right. You can select that and then hit the house, and that'll take you back. But anyway, so back into back into the uh, Picasso uh, application. I want to select on the one picture. Sorry, I'm gonna bring that little menu back out. Then hit the the left arrow, the back arrow, to take take you back. Okay, so that takes you back to the place you just were, which is the that particular uh, full, um, set of uh, pictures or albums and then back to the, the home spot again. So you can go in here and look at, you know, here's Whitney's reception here. Here's all those pictures. Um, and then I'm going back. Now, I did also put in a link into our Picasso file, which is um, listed as one of, one of the contacts in here. So now you click on that, there's my, my picture, you click on that one there, and now you're into my Picasso space where we got all our family pictures and, and things like that. So here's our, you know, our Christmas pictures that we had. Um, and you, you just see a ton of them on there and you can, you can just scroll through and you know just click on them and, and start looking okay and again you click on it once do a slideshow if you want to if you wanted to uh, watch a slideshow okay okay uh, I'm gonna click that I'm gonna click the little bar to go back, hit the back button, the back button, and the back button, and the back button, and now we're back to the to, to the overall uh, to Dad's um, you know Kindle, um, sorry Picasso space here. Um, I hit the home button to to go back again. Um, there we go. Um, here's another another thing that's on here is a, is just the photo album. This is part of the Kindle. Fire. So I've linked this to, I've actually uploaded some pictures that will show here. There's two folders I've got on there, and then we can put up more later. But these are just some other pictures that short, sort of show in a collage. And these are some of the pictures we used in our calendar that we did last year, this particular folder. And again, you could click on, you know, one of these pictures and, and go through them. Um, and there's probably a way to do a slideshow too, but... Um, I'm not sure. I think you could download these if you wanted to. But look, let's go back uh, one more. There's the uh, the other couple pictures I uploaded were some of the ones that you had from, um, you know, that Beverly had uh, had uploaded. So um, or had sent you a, a disc for. So I'd, I'd uh, copied a couple of those. So anyway, that's those those photos there. Um, let's see, Skype. I've put that on there. This is. Um, where you can actually, you know, make uh, do video calls. Let's say you want to call me. Um, okay, so I've got my my iPad over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my iPad on, and I'll put my Skype on on my iPad. So here you are on this device right here. I'm gonna call. Uh, there's Blaine Dillard, and I'm gonna do a. Um, See, they've used the little little uh, video camera icon up at the top. That'll make a video call, and so now you hear it ringing. 
Okay. Then on my for it to show up on my computer over there. So that doesn't work. Let's try one more time there. Let's try it again. Well, it's not sh not ringing on my side here. I don't know why. Let me try to call you. Call you from my computer. Okay, so here's an incoming call. That's what it's supposed to do. And then you hit the video, the little camera button to answer. Okay, and then you would see the video. So here's here's video of me talking and uh, sort of an echo. And then it basically shows two views. It shows the view that, that's of you and then the view of the other person. So it's a little out of whack right now. But we'll try that later uh, when we um, when you get used to this. I want to hang up. So this thing does have a camera right here. Uh, is a, a little camera on the on the uh, Kindle. Um, there's your Southern Living. I've got that. Uh, put that back on there. And um, so I didn't need to download the other issue. But here's your February. It's turned sideways, so this one's going to be best viewed uh, sideways. Oops. I don't know what is happening here. Let's see what happened. There we go. Okay, so there's your Southern Living. Uh, now, again, to get back, you see the little dash, the little dash mark there. Hit that, and then you can go home and, and it'll go back. Okay. I'm going to set it back up just like this. Okay, there's the, uh, the weather is on there. And right now it's about to snow somewhere. This is another one of those vertical apps here. Snow in Danville, okay. Let's see if that's really happening. Uh, now how do I get back? I gotta find the house. So there's the house right there. Uh, the Bible's on there, the USA Today. Facebook is, is still on there. I got you, you know, logged back in on that. Um, and again on Facebook you just scroll basically um, you know, just scroll down and up and you can see the things that other people have posted. It's a lot of really small text, unfortunately, so you kind of got to um, put your glasses on to see that. But the screen is really sharp, so it looks uh, looks really good. And you want, in Facebook, you want to kind of look when you see these little red numbers up at the top, like the two, the little, uh, the little two there. Uh, with a red number around the earth, that means there's some a couple of notifications. So Michelle Rasdale tagged something in the Barbara Dillard, and then Michelle Rasdale added a photo of you. So you can click on that and see what that is. Okay, and um, and so see there's a picture that Michelle uploaded that I guess you were at whatever the event that was. Okay, you can go backward like that. Michelle tagged you in a post. Um, so this is where you kind of see the latest news. Great, well, you know, so she just put something here that she wanted you to see. Okay. All right, and then uh, there's a couple of friend requests you got. Dwight Heiss, Billy Shields, and Joan Van Osten. If you're okay with them, you just hit confirm. So I'll let you do that whenever you want to. So I'm going to get out of Facebook um, and go back to here. And um, there's your Bible challenge game in there. I cleared level three, I think. Some of the other things are in here as well as those books. So um, everything else is pretty much similar to what you had before. Uh, this little star down here is your favorite. So I'm just going to click that right now see what's in it. So it's just a few things in it. Um, you know, you could, you know, if you want to use um, like email. Is email in there? Let's see. Yeah, it's already in there. So uh, but if you, let's say the Bible, you wanted to... Um, you know, always be able to get that because your carousel here could get with a whole bunch of stuff in it over time. So you may want to take this Bible, you know, click on it, say add to favorites. Okay. Then whenever you click the star, it'll show up in there. Okay. So that's the way to get to your favorites real quick. Just click on that star there. Um, so that's pretty much it for now. So I guess the other thing is to show you is the keyboard. So 
The way this keyboard works is it's uh, something called Bluetooth, and it is a uh, technology that allows um, devices to communicate with each other. So there's no wires involved, and but again, you do have to, to plug it in to charge it up. Uh, and it, I suspect the charge is probably going to hold for, you know, probably days or hopefully weeks. Um, but you, when you plug it in to charge it up, you once the light goes out, then it's fully charged. So, I, so I'll charge it up before I send it, and um, and then you can, um, you know, you can you can check it out. But there, it does have an on-off switch, so you have to to turn it on, and then when you turn it on, notice this little. Um, the blue light kind of flashes here. That means it's pairing. It's it's communicating with um, with whatever device it is that it wants to communicate with, or what its things what it's been set up to communicate with. And that would be this this Kindle right here. So I'm hoping this is gonna um, gonna connect up. The blue light is still um, you know it's still beeping a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now. It looks like it's it's synchronized, and the way you can tell is if you look. Um, we'll take this and bring it up real close here. Up in the top right uh, corner here, uh, there's three little uh, icons here. The one on the right's the battery, which I think you already already know that. Um, there's the battery, and then there's the wireless thing, which is the one that's like the three, uh, you know, kind of showing the the the, uh, the the three bars. That's the one in the middle, and then the third one on the left is this little kind of zigzag like a three or something like that. That is the symbol for the Bluetooth and that means that when you see that, that means it has been connected up with the uh, whatever the device it is that it's trying to connect to. Okay, so just you know by example if I turn this, if I take this keyboard and turn it off we sh might see that little icon go away. Um, so I'm not sure if it will or not but, but um, Anyway, it did take it a minute there for it to come on. Um, so anyway, I guess it's it's figured out enough that it needs to stay on. So I'm gonna turn the keyboard back on. Hopefully, it's gonna work. But that's the key thing to look for is that it that it oh there you go it just turned off. Okay. So now that the now the keyboard's on and the Bluetooth is off. So now they're probably out of out of sync here. Um, all right. So I wonder if it's gonna connect back up. I don't know. If I'm just showing you this, you normally wouldn't be turning it off and on and off and on in a matter of minutes here. But I'm going to turn it. Uh, I'm going to turn it back off. And then I'll turn it back on one more time here and let it get paired up. I see. No, it's not for you. Okay. And there it is. The light's back on. And notice the screen. The carousel kind of flashes to let you know. I think that something's going on. So here's the good thing about this, which I think you're going to enjoy. You go into an email. And again, you can move the keyboard wherever you want. It's got Velcro on it, so you could put it right there if you wanted. Uh, you can, you know, set your keyboard, uh, your screen wherever you want it. Um, I guess if you if you put it where if you put it where they have all the pads, then it's going to be it's going to be like that. Okay, so you can decide if that's comfortable for you, or if you just want to pull it off a little bit and, and move it. So it's hard to use this keyboard while you're sitting in your you know in your lap. It's going to work best if you're on a table. So I would just keep that in mind. I tried it today, and it just—it's uh, not really that great for using on your lap because it's just too, you know, it's too much going on. So if you're on a table, it works great like this. So here's the um, get my iPad out of the way here. Okay. So uh, here's the good thing about the email. So you do new just like you normally would in the on the Kindle. And so normally on the Kindle, you would click in the uh, the two box there, and because the keyboard is on. It's not bringing up the keyboard on the Kindle, okay? So let me let me. Um, um, I was about to say I was going to turn it off again just to show you. Normally, you click there and it's going to bring the Kindle keyboard up on the screen, and then you can type in into it. But right now, because this keyboard is on, um, it's it's um, you know it's going to allow you to use that. So I can type you know let's say Beverly B E V, and just like normally, it's going to bring up the name, and you can. Actually, you can hit the little down arrow here, select her name, hit return, and there you go. Okay, or I could have, let's say I'm going to put my name in, blank, B-L-A-I, and there's four things, four emails for me, or three, and then you can just actually touch it. You can do it either way. Okay, so now you've put both of those, um, you know, choices in there on, on the email. Okay, um, so then uh, you, can, you can either click select in the next field, like subject, and then down into the body, 
or you can actually do tab. Okay, so you can tab and get from, from one to the other. So while you're up here, you can add in more email addresses. Let's say you put Henry, okay, and then you can do tab. It's from you, so you don't have to do anything there. Uh, tab, again, it's moved the cursor over to there, and now I'm down to subject. Okay, test, email, backspace, backspace, okay. Then tab again, now I can write my letter. Hello, um, um, you know, comma, how is it going? Backspace, question mark, I am typing this with a keyboard. Okay, so that's a lot, um, you know, a lot, I guess a little bit more easy to use than the than the screen sometimes or the stylus. So if you if it helps you there, I think that'll be useful. You can hit enter, enter, and then uh, you know, you know, love Wayne. Okay. Oops, I typed that all wrong. Okay. And then um, and then pretty much else, pretty much everything else is the same. You just hit send whenever you um, want to do it. If you want to go and edit somewhere, you can use your finger to touch wherever it needs to go, and you see the little cursor. Uh, the little cursor thing show up. Okay, if I hit the, I do it like that, or I can do the, um, I can move, I can either move my finger around like this, or I can use the, the, um, you know, on the keyboard, I can use the, the uh, arrows on it as well. Okay, these arrows down down at the bottom. Okay. Now the other uh, neat thing about this keyboard is it'll also control the volume. There's some volume up and down buttons here, so if you're playing something, you can use it for that. And it also has a home button, and you can hit the home button, and it'll take you back as well to the home, to the home screen. Now it says right there, message saved as draft. I don't know if you caught that. Probably can't see it. If I go back into this, there's my email again, uh, still in progress. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna hit uh, hit send. Okay, I'm gonna. Like a little message in here with it. I uh, will tell you more later. All right, and then said, "Oh, Seth just yelled out that it's snowing." Okay. All right, so there that email got sent. Now remember, in your email, it shows you your inbox up there at the top, which you can just select as you need to. And then also, if you hit folders, you can hide or show your folders. It'll show drafts, sent, things like that. Here's your sent email. Okay, um, and then go back out. So on the keyboard again, you got the home button. It'll take you back. There's volume button. If you were playing a, uh, uh, let's say we're playing, a, what can we play a podcast? Let's put something on here. Right, let me just put something on real quick, and we'll play. Uh, Welcome to your move. Okay, and then hit the. In this weekly 30-minute podcast, here's the, you will discover. So you can do that, or you can use the side buttons that are built into the Kindle. Okay. So either way, you can uh, you can do the volume up or, up or down. I'm gonna hit pause and back out. Okay. So that's the volume buttons. Um, other things on the keyboard are escape. So if you're in something, or I tell you, let's go back to home. Let's go back to uh, this. Back to these pictures. Okay, when we were down in, a, in one of these pictures, like this, okay, so now we're, now we're down to that. If you can hit escape, that'll actually, it's the same effect as pressing up. Hey, can y'all be quiet? Okay. Okay, pressing escape is the same as pressing this arrow to take you back. So essentially, you're coming back, back out from where you were. Okay, nice little trick if you got the, if you got the keyboard. Um, there's lots of other little features on here that I don't know uh, which what all they do yet. We'll learn that over time. But the key ones are the home button, and um, you know, and the escape, and and uh, you know, again, the regular key, the navigation. You can go up and down, move your cursor up and down. I think there's a little envelope here, and I think if you hit that, it'll take you right to your email. So that's kind of nice as well. Uh, there's search. So I guess whatever thing you're in, if there's a search capability, it'll it'll show that right then. All right. So I'm just uh, getting back back out of there. So that's about uh, it. So as far as storing this, I would just uh, press this button, you know, on the top to turn it off. And there's everybody getting their hats on to go out and play in the snow. Um, I'm gonna turn the keyboard off when not in use. Um, and let me just show you just to just to make sure this is still clear. Now that the keyboard's off, if I go into email, okay. 
if I come in here to do a new email, then in this case, uh, it should bring the key, the, uh, the keyboard on the screen, it should bring it up. Okay, and there it did. So I noticed it did not do that until it took away the, the connection to, the, to this uh, Bluetooth keyboard. So once that went away, then it allow you, allows you to use the, uh, the keyboard on the, on the screen. Okay, and then you can type in like you normally would there. Okay. Um, let's go back into that. Cancel that. And um, so we're looking at your inbox. So again, key, keyboard on the screen or the keyboard on the in this little you know portable keyboard. Either one is, is fine to use. Okay. So I'm going to go back to home. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to put it there. Put the keyboard back on here. And then you can just close it down. There is, by the way, there is on the keyboard is a little couple pieces of rubber that protect it from the uh, from the screen and then you just take it and close it up like that and that's it so that's uh, the main things there's a headphone jack right there if you wanted to listen to your Kindle through the headphones and that's it other than charging it up that's pretty much all you gotta gotta do all right so hopefully that helps and um, hope you enjoy it and uh, thanks again Beverly for getting that the, the other Kindle because I think that's got mom started and now she's uh, going um, going uh, wild with uh, hopefully this one and and uh, we'll be doing all kinds of stuff on the internet so you got your basically a little laptop now um, and I hope you enjoy it thanks bye love you